Hello everyone and welcome to today's card making video. Today I will give you a sneak peek of a few products from the upcoming release over at Whiff of Joy. And the release will be on Sunday and I will be sharing a few videos here on YouTube during the week showcasing some of the new products. And today I'm making a pretty simple card using a few stamp sets and a die from the new release. And as you can see here I am making a background piece by stamping on some watercolor paper. And I'm stamping the images in tumbled glass distress ink. And then I'm adding quite a lot of water on top. And I didn't really care so much about how the stamping looked since I will be adding more color on top later. I just wanted some texture and color in the background. And the color I was using wasn't really dark enough so I went ahead and used Vibrant Turquoise Dilution Spray Ink to add more color. I also spray the paper with more water to make the color spread out a bit more. I then dried the piece with my heat gun and added a little bit more color since I still wanted it to be darker. And this time I used the London Blue Dilution Spray Ink. And I also added water to this and dried it with my heat gun. When I was finally happy with the background color, the stamping I did in the beginning wasn't really visible anymore, so I decided to go in with a butterfly stamp and stamp with water. Since dilution spray inks will react with water, I can add water to my image and remove some of the color. So I sprayed my stamp with water and then I stamped on the watercolor piece. I let it sit for a little while and then I used a paper towel to pick up the water. And this gives me a bit of a subtle ghost-like image. I went over the whole piece and then I set it aside to dry completely and started working on my card base. I have a standard European A6 card base and I will be cutting out a window from the front using this die set with a bunch of tag shapes and I'm using the large tag for this. When the window is cut I'm cutting the watercolor piece so that it will fit behind the window and then I'm adhering it with my Tombow tape runner. When I had adhered the watercolor paper I realized that I had a lot of adhesive showing in the front. But this is an easy fix and I just used a regular eraser to rub away the tape that was visible. I could have avoided this problem by adding adhesive to the back of the card front instead, but it worked out anyway. And now I'm going to stamp my sentiment and I'm using a sentiment from one of the new mixed media style stamp sets. And I'm going to stamp this in jet black archival ink. And to make sure I stamp fairly straight, I'm using my stamp positioner. I still didn't manage to get it completely straight though, but that's not really unusual for me, so I'm happy with the result anyway. I actually wanted to have the sentiment embossed in white, but since I know how extremely bad I am at embossing and getting white to look good, I ended up deciding against it in the end. When the sentiment is stamped, I'm going to cut out a white butterfly using this butterfly die set that I really love. I don't know what it is, but I seem to have a thing for butterflies and I just can't seem to get enough of them. I will be adhering the butterfly to my card base using foam squares, since that will give the card some dimension. And I'm also adding a double layer of foam to the tip of the wings, so that they will stand out even more. And I'm using a lot of foam squares here to make sure that the butterflies stay in place. I always tend to use a lot of adhesive, but I just hate it when the cards fall apart after they're done. And I don't really mind spending the extra money on more adhesive. And here I'm using my corner jumper to round the corners of the card. I was only planning on rounding the bottom corners, but then I realized that it didn't look very balanced that way, so I ended up rounding the top ones too. And I'm using the half inch rounder here. And the edges didn't really end up very smooth so I just used my Tim Holtz sanding block to finish off the edges a bit. And as a final touch I'm adding some white pearls to the butterfly's body. The pearls I am using are from a Swedish company called Panduro, but there are lots of companies that have similar pearls and I just happen to have these ones close by. And that was my card for today. I will be back on Friday with another card and more sneak peeks of the new release. And I hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching. <laughs>